Hello and welcome to another Tia Tuesday. Today we are going to talk about a rather new, I think it's like one year old, uh, method of sharing your project and working together with your colleagues and also working on different PCs and in different projects. And uh, if you want, you can also open two projects and work with your own, but in two separate projects on the same PLC. So that's the difference here with the software units. Today, we're going to talk about software units. Um, they are used when you only have one PLC that two or more people should be able to access at the same time. You want to program the same device at the same time. Maybe it's controlling two machines. Person one programs machine one, person two programs machine two, and they have to do it at the same time. That's when you use so-called software units. Right? And we will get into this today, starting it, and we will continue in the next video. So this will be a two-part um, video here where we get into the topic um, to this video and in the next video going a little bit into the details. So let's get this started, right? <clears throat> let's add a new PLC and let's see. I will add a controller. It is a 1500. It won't work for 300s and 400s. It will work for 1200s and 1500s with some limitations. I will show you now one of the most important um, limitations. I will choose right now. You see the firmware version? I will choose firmware version 2.5. So let's add a device that is firmware version 2.5 and hit OK. So what we can see here in the list, right? maybe you have never realized that, but in the list there is, um, if you're using newer firmware versions, there is something called software units. So first let's add DIDOs. We will need those later on. Right, just more DIDOs. <clears throat> um, and I hit the wrong button. So on the left side, we are we do not have access to software units right now. Software units are only available with PLCs with a firmware version of 2.6, version 2.6 or higher. So right now I have a PLC that is only 2.5, not available, right? Not available. So with newer firmware versions, you get more features, of course. So as soon as I add this or I change this, uh, right click change the device and I will choose the same PLC type and now I will choose version 2.6 and you see it says isochronous, isochronous mode for local modules is supported whatever that means <clears throat> and that is important let's see in the left list you see program blocks and there's nothing on top right there's online diagnostics but no folder as soon as I change the firmware version to 2.6 let's see blop. software units are now a thing so they are pretty new actually um, software units are now a thing um, yeah usually you would just program your stuff into program blocks and you would just add more functions and stuff and stuff and stuff what we will do is we actually use software units so for this I want to have let, let's assume we have a machine that has two separate parts Maybe uh, one part is for part supply and the other part is for part molding whatsoever, part shaping or something like that. So I have two parts in the machine. Both are controlled by a PLC, but they are both mostly like 95% independent from each other. That's where you would use software units. Same PLC, different process, um, highly modular right so i have those two parts let's call the first pl uh, part supply and the second software unit which is a part right it's a software unit it's an individual part <clears throat> um, and this i will call let's say process it's some process and you can see here, let's let's see the description. A software unit is a program unit that you can compile individually. That's great. So two people can compile it individually. And I mean, if there's an error in one, the other one will still work. Which for 1500s or in TIA portal, you always had the problem. Either your whole program is okay or nothing. You can't download a program that still has any errors. With software units, if one software unit doesn't work the other one works you can just download the one that works and the other one will still work on the one that's broken no problem at all they are completely separate um, 
and load independent of other program units. You can use a maximum of 255. That's more than we need. So they are independent. That's the great thing. I could also now give it an author and a comment. I will not do that. So does it save? Yeah, my PC starts lagging sometimes. So I have two software units now. What I could do is already give that project to my colleague. The one thing that I would prepare in before right we can also do it later on but it would become more difficult the only thing i want to do in before is both of those processes you see the, the both of those software units they have tags they have types alarms um, texts and program blocks each of those right now i actually want to give one block because i want them to fully work independent from each other they both should have a main function it's not the ob1 it's actually you have the OV1, right? That gets, uh, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. And you can actually put like smaller program cycles at the end of that, right? It's then OB1, and then this one has o, uh, number 123, OB1, then 123, then 124, and then starting back at OB1. So my first process that I called process will have OB123, which is basically at the end of OB1. And supply will have OB124, which is then even after the other one. So they actually executed after each other, but we don't care, right? Do we? Well, not really. Of course, in finer programming, it makes a difference, but right now it does not. So now I have a main function here, a main function here, and I can save the project. I have saved it. I have my, uh, my PLC is already running, so I will just download that. It's in the simulation. So I can download this into the simulation that is already running into my PLC sim. That's this one here. I could also download it in the physical hardware, but I do not have that. <clears throat> I will start the module. And now you see everything would be running fine already, right? Everything is green. My normal program blocks would work. And also my both software units, they're both green. Here is now the big thing about that i will have to well i don't need to go offline i can save the project in a different path right i have called this usually like this and i could send that now to the to my colleague um as long as i don't change anything at the program blocks anymore and at his process um at his process so at the other one right now i just want to fold around and supply and my colleague wants to do the process um he will just open the other project. So this is now project two. And I will also open a project number one in a separate TIA portal. I have it already open. So I have my seven. This could be on another PC, right? As long as the project is there, the project could be on your server. So I will open this software units one. Here we go. So that's the same project, basically. I just saved it in a different name. So we don't have problems because it's on the same PC. I can now also go online with the other PC. So imagine those are on two separate PCs, right? This is PC, wait, that looks ugly. Why is that a red line? Now oh, this is Windows fooling around, great. Um, imagine this one here that's on top of me is on PC2 and this one here that's on the left side is on PC1. And you see they're both green, both are fine, right? They're both green, both are fine, everything's cool. <clears throat> so what I can do now is, as I have those software units, the project that's on top of me, so this one will work on one of them, this one will work on the process, and the one on the left will work on the supply, right? They could now work at the same time, right? Let's start here on the left with the supply first. The supply, I, I won't program anything right now, that's in the next video. Let's see, he will make a function that is called supply something. I don't know what it's supposed to do. And there's some more things to it that could happen. So I'll get to those in the next video <clears throat> or to the most important ones. So right now, you see it changed here on the left side. It changed in that project. It has not changed in the other project. Of course, we're working on two different PCs. But what I can do, let's put that actually in the program. I will call it here. And what I can do is I take the supply, 
I don't take all the software units or the whole device. I only want to download my supply because that's my software unit. That's the only thing I'm working on. I can download and you see no problems at all. I will load and it's fine. And on my colleague's PC here on the right side, it now popped up. Hey, there is a difference now. Someone did something in here. The colleague doesn't care. This one doesn't care. He's just like, yeah, I don't care. I will just do my stuff. I will make my own functions here or function blocks or whatever. Let's do a function block. It doesn't matter what it is. And this is supply. Wait. Which one was which? Uh, the other one was supply. Did I actually? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So yeah, supply something. And this one in the process is um, function block maybe. Process some something. What you can see here, this one needs a fixed number. It needs a fixed number. You can change it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but it needs a fixed number. So now this one can actually put that in here. Hey, I need an instance. Let's do this. So the instance will pop up here. And now the second one, he can just download his process. Right? He can just download his process and it is fine. Right? They're fully independent. They're online on the PLC. Right there, of course, this is online. Now the colleague can see, hey, something changed in the process. Doesn't matter because I am only working on the supply. So that's fine. This one, I can see, oh, something happened to the supply. I don't care, right? Both working on the same hardware, um, both working on different parts of the machine. That's just, I for me, that was fascinating when I saw it. I was like, hey, this is easy. This is cool because the 1500, they are so powerful. You could have... This could be a full machine. This could be a second machine. There could be a third machine and so on and so on. Um, I will get into some details in this topic, right? There's still there's st still some things, um, but I don't want to make long, long, long videos. So I will get into this a little bit in the next video. So that's it already. That was the introduction to software units. Two separate things on the same hardware. I think that's just... Awesome, especially when you're working together with others. Um, yeah, um, there will be a second video on this Thursday, so in two days. Um, if you're watching this in the future, there's a second video on this topic on my channel. Go check it out. Do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>